While Malibu isn't exactly a well-kept secret, few people dare to venture only a few dozen miles up the coast. For those looking for something beyond another day on the beach, there's a hike for you. Point Magoo. The trade-off here is that you have to work for your views. Over the first half mile, you're ascending just under a thousand feet in elevation. If it weren't for the gorgeous views, this trail would be considered brutal. No, it is brutal. Feeling the burn. Definitely gets you winded a bit, but it's also a very refreshing feeling sometimes to just work your way up a hill, pause for a few seconds, look out at the ocean, feel the nice breeze. Surprisingly, there are a lot of people here, which is not usually the case, especially on a Wednesday. If we're talking about elevation gain, this equates to about 35% grade, or up 35 feet for every 100 feet you hike. This makes it a great location to train for mountain hikes like Baldy, Gorgonio, and even Mount Whitney. So there are two things you gotta make sure you do when you hike up a steep incline like that. One is you gotta work on your rest step. If you don't know what the rest step is, it's when you take a small break and you lock a leg between each step. So step, rest, step, rest, rest. It gives you a little break between each one. The other one is never go faster than you can hold a conversation. Because if you're getting gassed out, then you're going too fast. You want to be comfortable when you're hiking up. You don't want to be taking breaks every two minutes. Uh, ready? Thankfully, a steep incline meant getting to a higher spot faster. We were greeted with a more level trail and a beautiful view. In the distance, a battleship patrolled the California coast from the nearby Navy base. The Channel Islands also began to show themselves in the distance, 27 miles off the coast. And below we saw the training area for the famous Naval Construction Battalion, also known as Navy Seabees. While the view of the coast was stunning, the ground had treasures hidden beneath the brush as well. Like the spiny lizard, and the feisty coastal whiptail. The trail hugged the contours of mountains as we were treated to a variety of plant life. Out on the west coast there's always these unfamiliar plants. I think Thomas actually probably knows more about plants out here than I do, but I noticed these vining plants growing on some shrubs and they have these distinct tubular flowers. And I'm pretty sure that this is in the genus Ipomia, the same genus that Common Morning Glory is in. And you'll see that growing on a lot of hedges and people's yards out in the Midwest. Very pretty. It's one of the things about living on the coast here, even though there is some humidity here, it's definitely not unsusceptible to wildfires out here. And all around us you have these burnt brushes and it's almost like walking through a graveyard here. Only a few months ago, about 30 miles away from here, the Thomas fire took place. And that was a gigantic fire just on the other side of Santa Barbara. Well, why'd you start it then? <laughs> Nearby were some manzanita bushes unaffected by the fire, as well as some fragrant black sage. And in other areas, tall yucca stalks jutted out from the hillsides. Soon enough, we couldn't ignore the beauty of the cliffs and followed an outlet to see the coast. Below, we saw caravans of people on the beach, crashing waves, and cars cruising along the iconic Highway 1. But the real treat was spotting some cheerful seals in the ocean below. And back on the trail, an Anna's hummingbird fluttered busily around a flowering bush. Nearby, new prickly pear cacti grew along their deceased kin. We came to another junction and looked over at the La Jolla Valley beyond the mountain. But Magoo Peak was only a short climb away, and we decided not to linger.
After another arduous but short climb, we approach the top. flag marked the top of Magoo Peak. It was hoisted on a well-worn pole that had clearly been visited by countless previous hikers. From the top, we were treated with a view of the Boney Mountains, the highest points in the Santa Monica Range. Though not visible, Sandstone Peak, the highest point in the range, stood just behind the ridge at 3,100 feet high. So at the top of Magoo Peak, you have this beautiful valley. Now this is called the La Jolla Valley. There's a great system of hiking trails that most people don't do. And it starts by hugging around this side of the mountain and you can choose to either go towards the valley on the other side, or you can just cut through the La Jolla Valley right here, go through some trees along a creek and meet up at a junction over there. Now the cool thing about this is this is a terminus for the Backbone Trail. And the Backbone Trail starts or ends here, cuts through the Boney Mountains, all the way through Topanga Park and right near Griffith Park, actually. And it's about a 60 mile trail in total. You can't officially backpack it yet, but you can day hike sections of it. And this is a, this is a beautiful valley, especially right after a lot of rainfall turns this beautiful green. In the summertime, it's gold. In this area, you gotta end by doing this. We'd love to do it, we just don't have the time today. And we're getting kinda hungry. As we rested, we took in the views around us. The mountains, the islands, and even the Navy base. Overhead, E-2 Hawkeyes drilled and flew around the base in tight formation. We quickly and carefully descended the mountain, making good use of the hiking poles. As we left, the mountains and ocean continued to thrive with life, and we watched dolphins swim nearby. But with all that hiking came a hefty appetite. And you can't go to Magoo Peak without stopping for a snack at Malibu's famous Neptune's Net. So one of the things that you got to do after that, this hike is you got to go to a place called Neptune's Net. And it's right along the coast. And Andrew, I'm so hungry, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. This is the part where you cue the angelic choir. This beautiful creation is Neptune Sampler. A mix of crab cakes, calamari, shrimp, fish, fries, I can't even name them all. Suffice it to say, you won't leave hungry. Thank you so much for watching. We'd love it if you liked the video, subscribed, and shared it with your friends. Be sure to check out our full videos. And if you really like what you see, join our Patreon community to see bloopers, weekly live streams, and other bonus content. But if you can't support us that way, share our videos on social media, Reddit, and your favorite outdoorsy forums. Either way, thanks again so much for watching. And a special thanks to Tim Lawson for his information about the Navy base.